Yes, yes, all right. This isn't like a compliment. I'm not doing some positive affirmation to try to like build you up. Hey man, you're doing good, right on. No, this, this is what I'm trying to say. You are doing good though. This is the title of the video. You're doing a hundred times better than, uh, than you think you are. What do I mean though? I have to explain like what we mean when we say things. Those people <clears throat> or those videos you see, yeah, probably more videos. I doubt you meet many people in real life that are doing semen retention where you can actually have a dialogue with. That's unfortunate. Ah, but we're doing a group. See how that flowed? <laughs> we're doing a group Sunday, September 10, and you're welcome to come. And uh, I put the website link in the description box and just click on it and then you can get all the information. Some people say, well, what's the information? I'm like, just all you gotta do is click on the link. Like, it's easy. So, these people that you, <clears throat> they postulate as somebody who's like, look, man, just don't, don't, don't lose your, your energy. It's easy. Just stop looking at porn. Just be a man about it. Just, you know, like a lot of these people talk a good game. They talk a real good game. I remember when I was in the whole raw foodist thing. I think that movement has passed, hasn't it? I mean, at least it's decreased, I think. Or maybe I'm just not into it anymore, so I don't, I don't know what they're doing. I still eat predominantly raw. When I say I'm not into it, I mean I'm not watching the videos and stuff, but uh, it's a similar thing. They used to, to be super, uh, they would build a following and have an audience. They'd be identified with their role. And they're like, they can't admit what's really happening, the real struggle in uh, what they do in life. Like their real tests and challenges. Or if they so-called relapse and go eat a burger from Burger King. Like they're not gonna tell you that, why? Because they have a, they gotta maintain their presence. They gotta put on the act. They gotta keep getting their followers and sell their courses and all that. <clears throat> okay, so semen retention, it happens in this field too. Now there's a few of these brothers, man, that are real. They just, they make the title. They say, yeah, I messed up again, yeah. This is, this is the thing, see, like, and, and they do better. They get more, you know, if you want to say views or whatever, all you got to do is be honest, be authentic. Then you're going to attract the right people. They respect that when you admit stuff. But the mind will tell people like, no, man, don't admit it. Like you're going to lose your following, lose money. And so, okay, how does this tie into what we're saying? There's a lot of people, they pretend it's easy. They put on the face that it's easy. It's not. They're either lying or or here's what they're doing. They're still edging. They're still edging. Or they're like just working 20 hours a day. They're, they're just, yeah, that's also edging actually, if you wanna count. Edging means dopamine stimulation to escape your inner uh, state because it feels uncomfortable. This is what it means, okay? Usually when we talk about edging though, we're, we're applying it to the, uh, sexual the semen retention realm which means any way you're trying to get a hit of dopamine by exciting yourself via whatever to escape yourself that's what edging is in the sexual realm but you can broaden that out and make it to mean anything you want which is why i keep saying you can't do this perfect so relax about it so these people that are they don't a lot of people don't tell you the real truth because they haven't been through it i know because i went through it when I, when I started preserving my semen, then some people ask how long I've been doing it. Several years, I don't know, I don't count it. But the edging, I say it's unending. I don't do hardcore edging anymore, like the big draw that these crazy Taoists tell you to do, and oh well, yeah, and manifest your, yeah, right. They're all dopamine addicts. Um, but, uh, you know, ed edging can get subtle, man. So here's my point though. When I started, when I stopped the PMO and I started doing semen retention, the edging really kicked in then. Why? Because I wasn't releasing my energy. Once you release your energy, you're just gonna wanna lay down. Like you don't have any energy to do anything. So you're not gonna feel like edging. <clears throat> but when you're not releasing your energy and then you don't do that long enough, man, the edging kicks in hard. I used to, I'm telling you, when I was in Thailand and Bali, I, I would just all night, I'd just be walking around in popular areas just trying to get hits of attention from girls. It was just like sickening. 
Because <laughs> I was just like, I couldn't be with myself. Some of you, especially those who try to stop PMO and edging, you're like sitting with yourself. And then all this turmoil comes up. Yeah, you're like, damn, I can't, like, this is crazy. Like, what's wrong with me? That's the problem, that question. When you believe that question, what's wrong with me? Nobody talks about this. So you feel like there's something wrong with you. So I'm trying to say there's nothing wrong. That actually, that's right. That's why I say you're doing a lot better than you realize. Life is backwards a lot of times, especially how the mind interprets things. It's backwards. A lot of people who are feeling bad or are really going through an inner alchemy, you're way ahead of the people who are postulating as somebody who's got it. Ooh, I got it, man. Like, I got two years. No PMO. Like, I get all the girls, right? You don't know their inner state. You don't know their lifestyle. You don't know what they're trying to escape inside. You don't know all that. So, so don't compare yourself to these people. This is your journey. And I can tell you a true organic transformation cannot happen without going through what you're going through. If anybody claims that now they, they, they've got it, they've arrived, they're just balanced and everything's good. And they don't, they don't, they haven't went through this, they're not there. They're playing a role, they're wearing a face, everything's cool, they're wearing that face, that face is gonna drop at some point, that mask is gonna come off. At some point, it's coded in life and evolution, it's just gonna make you look at yourself at some point. So those who aren't looking at themselves and acting, don't worry about them. You can sense vibrationally, if you're those of you who are sensitive you know when you're hearing truth because truth has a vibration you can't fake vibration that's the thing you can fake you can say things fake what you say you can fake your actions but you can't fake the vibration or energy behind those things that's the real way to tell but that might take some time to develop that so-called sixth sense or something to where you can read that doing semen retention is gonna help you be able to read that better. And when you give up the edging, you're really gonna be able to read that. But don't put a time limit on, oh, well, I'm not reading it, what's wrong? Again, that's the mind coming in through the back door trying to beat you up, don't do that. So trust the process. If you're feeling some inner tur turmoil, that's natural and normal and you want to feel that. That's the purification process. Anytime you start feeling bad, just be like, yeah, I'm being purified, cool. It's a high level way to look at it. And then there's things you can do on the side to, to help uh, on a, a more practical level to help with that. There's millions of things actually. You can go to our uh, Discord. I'm not really on there, but a brother started it and a lot of people from this channel go there and they share ideas. Breathing and, and uh, just, I don't know, all kinds of things. I'm not really in that field. Look. I've tried all that too. Mudras and bandhas and yoga postures and pranayama and like all that's good. I'm not knocking it, but what I'm saying is that's not the, there's no one easy way to fix this. That's what I'm trying to say. There's no like one shortcut. If I just do Wim Hof breathing, uh, then this just makes everything better. No, it can assist you during this purging purification process, but th you can't escape going through the mulcher or the grind. So you find these other little things that help, but don't expect some miracle from them. See, the mind and people's mind, they're obsessed with trying to like escape their pain, escape this uh, alchemic process. You can't do that. That's the thing. It's a, and so then you keep, keep going on to the next thing. Okay, this seemed to work for a little bit, but now it's not working. Okay, let me check Google. What's the next thing? At some point you realize like there's no next. Like it's all, it's all like, it's not the real answer. I made a video about the, the highest way to transmute sexual energy or something. The highest way is when you're organically done with it. You're done with the lust, you're done with the PMO. So then when the tendencies arise in you, you don't do anything, you let them be there. You're like, I'm just not doing it. Like, I don't wanna do it. I'm gonna feel the burn but I'm not gonna act out on it. That has to happen though in its right time. When that ha that's the most organic way. You're just truly, your whole being is done with this whole lifestyle of, of PMO and lusting and all that. 
but don't expect that to happen overnight and don't put a time limit on when it happens. All that matters is it will happen. Maybe it'll happen a month from now, maybe a year, maybe 10 years, maybe 20 years, like who cares? You have to be okay with that. With not, you, you give your life back up to existence. It made you, it's taking care of you. Come, come to our group September 10, if you want, Sunday, and we're gonna talk about all this stuff. You need to be in some environment that's giving you power, giving you vibration. Then it makes it easier. It accelerates this whole thing. So rather it's my group, another group, a church, something. You need vibration, you need energy. This is, this is the real medicine. It's, and it doesn't, it's not a quick fix. It works on you slowly, but deeply from the ground up. That's what you need. There's no like quick superficial fix like the Westerners are all tuned on, like just give me the pill. Yeah, there's no pill, see.